back to another episode of Games for Breakfast. This week, we are making a vault Tech favorite, Blanco Mac and Cheese. Now, I do have some dietary restrictions for myself, um, so I'm going to be I'm making some slight changes to it to make it low carb, uh, but overall it should be the same. Uh, minor changes. I will tell you what I am changing, and I will tell you what the original ingredient is. So first, you need one pound elbow macaroni. I am using a special low carb macaroni, but you can use whatever brand you want. Two medium carrots chopped. I also don't have two medium carrots, I have baby carrots. I'll make it work. They're still carrots. It's gonna taste the same no matter what. Now, it calls for one and a half cup of whole milk, uh, in the interest of making it low carb, I will be mixing half and half with some heavy cream. And then it also calls for a half cup of heavy cream. Another change I'm making is it calls for a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. I will instead be using citric acid and baking soda. I'm gonna mess around with ratios to get the desired, I guess, creaminess. That's really what the flour does, and it holds everything together. Um, but what I'm going to do is start with start with two teaspoons of citric acid and two and a half teaspoons of baking soda. You will also need two teaspoons of ground mustard, two teaspoons of garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Five tablespoons of unsalted butter, eight ounces of sharp cheddar cheese shredded, and four ounces of fontina cheese shredded. I was unable to find any fontina cheese, uh, so I looked up some substitutes for fontina cheese, and it said that gouda cheese was an acceptable substitute for fontina cheese. Some of these changes I had to make for dietary reasons, other changes I had to make because I couldn't find the stuff. Like, uh, I couldn't find, well, I could, I found flour. I just, I'm not using flour. And last but not least on the ingredients list is salt and pepper. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill a medium pot with water and you're gonna boil. You then add the carrots, cover it and reduce the heat to medium. Let it simmer for five minutes or until the carrots are tender. I don't remember if I mentioned Worcestershire sauce. You need two teaspoons of Worc Worcestershire sauce or Worcestershire sauce. There are different ways to say it. I say Worcestershire sauce. Once your carrots are done cooking, drain the pot and transfer the carrots into a blender. At this point, you want to add the milk, heavy cream, and Worcestershire sauce. Blend until smooth. Um, I said milk. In my case, it will be half and half and more heavy cream. Next, you want to combine the flour, or in my case, the baking soda and citric acid, with the ground mustard, garlic powder, and cayenne pepper in a small bowl. Place a large saucepan over medium to high heat and add the butter. Once your butter is all melted, you want to add the spiced flour, which is the stuff that you just had in the blender. And while you're doing this, make sure you're constantly whisking. After the butter and flour have been combined into a roux, slowly whisk in the carrot and milk mixture until fully combined. Whisk in the cheddar and fontina cheeses in small batches. Season it with salt and pepper. Then add the cooked macaroni to the cheese sauce and stir the cooked macaroni. The real thing I didn't mention in the beginning is we gotta cook the macaroni. Cook your macaroni before you add it to it. The great thing is you can cook the macaroni while you're cooking all the other things. So I'm actually gonna start with the macaroni.
So we chopped the carrots, the water, we're waiting for the water to boil for the carrots, the noodles are cooking. So now we're going to combine the dry stuff. So we're combining the flour slash citric acid basic baking soda, the ground mustard, the garlic powder, and cayenne pepper in a small bowl. Citric acid, the same stuff that we use in the Our carrot water is boiling, so I'm gonna throw the carrots in before I add the rest. Pan 
change. But there was one. Thanks for watching Games for Breakfast.